Hi YouTubers, it's Nick540 here. Um, I wanted to do a video that I haven't done in a while, and that is just an update of the video games that I have so far. Um, I usually try to get one of these in before Christmas season, because that's usually when all the new releases are coming out. So I have some previous games, some new games, and um, wanted to talk a little bit about what I have here. It's going to be a pretty quick video, as I don't have many uh, new games, but I wanted to show you what I did have. As many of you know from seeing my last video, I'm a huge fan of the LEGO video games. I find them easy, relaxing, and fun, and they have their unique, kind of simple challenges, but still, you know, some of them can take a while to figure out. Um, one of the ones I just got, which I've really enjoyed, it took me a little while to get into, but is the uh, LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. Uh, it took me a little while, it was kind of a slow starting game, I was a little con confused. Um, I didn't know the Clone Wars as well as other Star Wars stuff, so it took me a bit of time to get into this one, and I'm fully into it. I've beaten all the levels, now I'm just going back to get all the mini kits and um, explore this a little bit more, but uh, it is quite a good game. Um, another one that I got recently is the Little Big Planet 2. I have not had a lot of time to play this one, but I, I did really enjoy the first one. first one had unique levels, I like the uh, levels that people built. I like building my own level and I really like the soundtrack. So um, this one I've played uh, maybe a quarter of it, maybe a little bit less than a quarter. And I do like it. I still, it doesn't have the wow factor that the original one did, um, but it's still really cool, the physics of the game. It's really, really good game so far. Um, and I look forward to playing more of it, hopefully in the near future. Next one I wanted to talk about again in the LEGO series is probably my favorite LEGO game yet and that is the LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. They did a great job with the characters in this game. Um, it was very bright, they were stayed very close to the story, uh, it was very recognizable. Some LEGO games you're like, when was this in the movie? When was this in um, anything? But uh, this one was very close to the story. Up until now my favorite one had been uh, LEGO Indiana Jones. But this one takes the cake. This one is really well done. I didn't find there's as many glitches in this one either. I think they're uh, working out some of the bugs. Um, and then here's another one that I picked up today. Um, I'm going to start with this. Uh, this is um, not new. This is from my last game one. But this is the Lego Harry Potter Years 1-4. to four, And this one just came out. And it's still in its plastic wrapper. I've not even opened it. I just picked it up today. So this is Years 1-4. through four, And this is the brand new 5-7. to seven. I really did enjoy 1-4. through four. Uh, The characters are great. The character development is great. The story is great. Also similar to Car Pirates of the Caribbean. They stick close to the story. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this, but as you can see, it's still in its in its plastic wrapper, so I have not played this. Uh, if you want a review, please leave a comment and I'll let you know if it's worth picking up. If you already have the original and you want to finish the series, I would highly recommend getting years 5 through 7, which is the new one here. Another very popular game out on the PS3 right now is the Uncharted. Uh, many of you know who saw my last video, I have Uncharted 1, the original one. And I actually ended up getting the first Uncharted for free because it was a, uh, it came with my PS3 system. This one here, the second one I have not completed and I'm going to be working on completing that um, maybe by the end of this weekend, not sure. Um, but this one I'm excited to play. It might be a while till I get to it. You can see it's still wrapped in plastic. Picked this one up today. Um, I saw Pete Dorr and a couple other people review this saying that it was uh, quite good. The overall experience was good, but still that Uncharted 2 was the best graphically. Although I find that hard to believe because of this one kind of is newer, so you'd think the graphics would be better. Anyways, I haven't played it, but I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Um, Uncharted, great series. If you haven't, if you haven't uh, played them, highly worth playing. Now, this next game, I had a hard time deciding whether to get it on the Xbox 360 or the PS3, and because of the last game, Black Ops was so well done for the PS3, uh, and Infinity Ward has kind of caught up to some of the PS3. I actually decided to get it on the PS3 this time. Most of my other Call of Duty games have been on the Xbox 360, but I decided to do this one. Um, I do like the Xbox 360 trigger action better than the PS3, but um, you know, I usually, 
I find that uh, things are a little more crisp, uh, arguably a little more crisp in on the PS3. Um, and I do like having Blu-ray disc uh, all loaded onto here. So I did get the Modern Warfare 3 here uh, for the PS3. Again, looking forward to playing this. I'm sure there's a hundred reviews out there, so I won't do a review unless you guys really want to see it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my here's my new games that I just recently got, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, so there we go. Lots of Lego games. Lots of playing time there. Uh, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Bye.